Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Minot Sports Podcast. We are back again in the Swain Hall Studios, and where we talk Minot Sports in and around the Magic City. Of course, a lot of stuff to be had, and we're just so gracious to be back in behind the mic. And first, we just want to give a quick shout out to KMSU TV and Radio, the studio sponsor of the Minot Sports Podcast. We thank them for providing us the utilities and resources to get in and around and to be able to produce some great shows for you guys. And we have another fantastic one on hand for you today. Going to be a little bit of a change of pace here and there, but we're going to talk a little bit the behind the scenes of the sports. So sports management is one of the many graduate programs offered at Minot State University where you get to learn kind of the ins and outs of the world of sports in many different capacities and also compliance is a critical piece of college athletics and managing the everyday student athlete can be an adventure. Here with us today is Haley Grainer, Minot State graduate assistant in compliance and also a fellow grad student in sports management. Haley, how are you doing today? Thanks for being on the show. I'm good. Cool. Thanks for having me. Well, Haley, we're happy to have you on board here. And so we'll just kind of get started, you know, just simply, you know, tell us your background and your story to the people. Um, I grew up in Minot, so I guess going to Minot State was pretty typical for someone that grows up here. Um, and then I guess my interest in sports has been growing probably for a while um my brother used to play hockey so we were at the mesa all the time and traveling for hockey um and then just going to a bunch of sporting events with my friends growing up so that's pretty much why i'm here there you go nice hey that that's got to be really nice and uh did your brother growing up did he ever play for the wolves like peewee bantam stuff like that Yep. Oh, yep. nice. That That is good. So I actually saw some of your article from the Grand Forks Herald. And, you know, you you're, you mentioned you're a big hockey fan, Minnesota Wild fan. You know, your interest and ambition to work and go far in the sports field. Part of the reason we got you on the program here today, you know, how did you get your start in the field? Or will this be kind of your start, if you will? Um. I got my start kind of last summer. I did a marketing internship at the Dome with Sal. Um, So I was kind of in between if I want to go into like sports, um, like the sports field, or if I wanted to go to law school. I was kind of thinking about that. But yeah, I think my internship last summer kind of solidified it for me so it's sal rodriguez i assume and how did that go yeah it was good it was a lot of fun i learned a lot i got to experience a lot and interact and make new connections so it was good well that is a nice part about this field Haley, is that you get to make all a whole wide swath of connections with people so that is good what you're doing there i'll ask you also you know, who who do you like to watch on the wild? Do you have any favorite player or players? Um, I guess not. Cur- I like, okay, Krill Kamrasov. He's pretty fun. He's good, yep. Yep, mm-hmm. but, I mean, the rest are good. Hey, no, nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I mean, K- Kaprizov, yeah, he's one of the top guns, one of the best the league has to offer. Uh, take it in, I'm going to assume this to be the case, you take it in any Minotauros games at all? Yes, I've been to a lot. Yep. Been to a lot. Nice. Yep. Minotauros there. Also fun. We'll get into some more Minot State stuff here as far as athletic wise. But, you know, talking about you first, you know, what drew you to the idea of compliance? Um, I was kind of like proposed the idea. Um, I had a d- professor, Dr. Burr. Um, she approached me one morning. Um, and she asked me, she's like, have you thought about grad school? Um, cause I just graduated and I was like, well, actually funny enough, I have. And then she's like, go. I have the deal for you. <laughs> so 
That's kind of where I got it. Mm. And when I talked to Jordan, it was kind of, it was connecting like the sports field with kind of like the law, um, law stuff that goes into college athletics. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, sports law, that is, we. I just took that class recently. I don't know if you have yet. I know you just got out of uh, your bachelor's degree, but you'll be, I'm sure you'll be taking that on soon. But sports law, like that, it, it's quite interesting because it's not quite an official term, if you will, but it is, it does go around um, kind of like regular law. So, but that that is, um, that is, you know, great for, you know, getting into that aspect of sports because compliance, you know, you got to learn, you know, for how much you know now, like, tell us about, you know, your role in this new position and, you know, what, what have you taken in so far with it? Um, so my role right now, it, a lot of it's just like learning, um, like learning. There's so many like terms and, um, like different rules, I guess. Um, but what I do have a lot is I'll send um, like tracers to like previous schools where you get new students, like transfer students. Mm -hmm. I'll send tracers to previous school. Um, I'll update coaches. I'll we talk to the coaches, to the students, just kind of whatever they need, we're there and we help out with that. Nice. So a little bit of transparency involved in, you know, letting coaches know. And I, I actually had a question about, you know, have you gotten to, if I can find it on my list here, have you gotten to get involved with some of the, you know, transfer portal conversation? Or is that more of Jordan Quinlan's role, who will be, uh, who you will be working with soon? Is Have you been involved in some of those conversations? Have you gotten to learn like some student or NCAA IDs, if you will? Um, walk us through that. Um, yeah, there's there's a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> oh boy, yeah. Uh, like in the portal, we just see it, like the athletes if they're in the portal, like because there's a lot in the portal. Oh yeah. Um, mm -hmm. and like we just see like I don't know, kind of like their basic information, and then depending upon like they can have other coaches contact them and yeah it's pretty cool so is that kind of what what the conversations are like um you know just kind of notifying coaches that hey this student's in the portal and for also this you know what what parts have you learned or what what other parts have you learned like going in did you learn some things that uh, you weren't expecting or did something like uh, float your boat were you able to kind of guess what you were doing a little bit um yes and no um like some of the bigger stuff I can't like obviously I'm not like a full time employee so mm -hmm. that's not something I'm in charge of but um I don't know like a lot of the stuff is like, it's kind of laid out, and Jordan does a good job of explaining stuff to me. But That's good. some of it is just kind of like a, you figure it out as you go, and yeah. No, that that is great. All that is, you know, tremendous. And I've, I've gotten to know Jordan for a bit this past year, working my first year as a grad assistant, although not working directly for her. You know, she's great for... Um, for what she does in athletics and you're going to be a great addition for her staff and you know she she's really awesome to work with believe me and so moving on here you know have you faced any i guess i know it's still very early but have you faced like a big assignment or have you heard anything you know major um or because it's still summer you're still waiting for the school year to start to really find out you know how crazy hectic things can get or i guess you mentioned the transfer portal you know, that's still very uh, alive and, I guess, well or unwell, however you want to put it, however you view college athletics. Have you faced, uh, I guess, any sort of challenges with that yet? Um, I would say, like, they kind of, 
like going into this, Jordan explained that like the summer is like their busiest time. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. and so they're just busy getting ready, like for the upcoming school year and getting everyone, hopefully eligible to play and things like that. But, um, but other than that, it's pretty good. Not. Like, nothing yeah. unbearable has come yet. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Okay, yeah, that's, and again, you're you're still starting out, and, you know, do you know if you'll be, actually, that that was just the one question I was looking for, so that that was my next one, you know, the transfer, the transfer portal conversations, you know, there's obviously Jordan helping you along with that. Let's talk eligibility, because that's also an important subject, you know, have you gotten to read uh, I'll, I'll make this easier. Have you gotten to read any of the NCAA, I guess, compliance guidelines, or has that more been uh, Jordan kind of helping you out with that? Um, yeah, she kind of handed me a, like some a documents the first few days, and she's like, read this. <laughs> she said it very nicely, but basically she's like, read these over, make sure you understand them. Um, if you have questions, like, ask um but it was most of it was pretty like self-explanatory and not too Mm -hmm. overwhelming did it have the same vibes as uh do you agree to the terms and conditions is it kind of like that (laughs) pretty much (laughs) oh boy yeah Uh, we are dealing with some technical difficulties here right now folks with the uh, video so but we do have an a backup audio file so thank goodness all that as well. We'll just keep rolling on here, Haley, as, uh, you know, what do you look forward to this upcoming sports season? You know, do you think, or do you think you will take pride in, you know, watching the athletes who compete, or the watching the athletes compete that you work with? Um, yeah. I think, I mean, I've always gone to, like, MSU, like, athletic games before, um, but working for them now I think it'll almost release a sense of new pride I guess for the school Mm -hmm. um and yeah I'm excited (laughs) no we're we're looking forward to you know we're working together we're I know we're going to be in different departments but we're we're probably going to see each other on game day so that'll be you know just kind of a, a nice you know, work around seeing, you know, what what's what's it like and um it's gonna be a lot of fun. So our video looks like our video just got back, so some editing to do in the post production process. Again, apologize folks, we'll have that fixed up later on. But you know, talk let's talk sports management here, Haley. So of course we're both in the program. I've seen you with some of the comments on the uh classroom discussions. So I, I kind of already know some of what's going on, but do you want to just share with the audience, you know, what kind of what you've taken in so far, like classes, subjects, I know it's still very early for you, but anything of that nature, because I mean, sports management might be a little bit more than self-explanatory. Um, so I guess for the program so far, like I've only uh, taken two classes so far, so I th- I'm in sports finance right now and human resource management um but they're going pretty well like i didn't i didn't know exactly what to expect like i had asked some other people who were in the program and just graduated may and they said it was similar to undergrad but like obviously it's a little bit different because they're all eight week courses um, but I can say they're similar to undergrad, but I mean, still kind of makes me nervous. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, I get it. You know, first time starting out, I even for me, I like believe me, if, just from advice for I guess being what a, a year ish into this program, that you know it it can kind of be a little nerve wracking, but once you kind of learn the ropes a bit. You know, once you solidify yourself, you'll you'll know the um, you'll you'll kind of be able to find your way throughout the whole process. But you know, HR that's that's I feel that's a great class. I I never even 
thought about that being a potential option for you know grad school I, that that's perfect for your role and what you're going to be getting involved with so that that's all that's uh, good stuff there Haley and you know the, the program is great and you can combine real world opportunities like what you're doing now what I have with sports information and you combine that with schooling for a master's degree it it can take you further and if you had to choose where do you see yourself working in what capacity like what's the end goal in mind for your dream job um I want to do sports marketing is probably a like my dream. Um, if I could pick the sport, I'd pick hockey, and nope. obviously for the NHL. But yeah. yeah, we we saw a little bit of that in the the Grand Forks Herald article. You know, you you know, working for a professional team like the Wild someday, like that's Minot State. I'd, I'll I'll say this: Minot State's very good about sending their their masters graduates to the next level. I've I've actually gotten to know a few people. Who now work for uh, the Phoenix Suns and the Phoenix Mercury, and working for like University of Tennessee football. So Haley, you're on the right track here. So there's there's some good opportunities with that. And let's talk about the nonprofit. I see you got your Prairie Grit shirt on, helping out in the community. Tell us some of the work you've done with them in the past and some other opportunities. Um. Well, I'm a Prairie Grit athlete, so. Like, I've done sled hockey, I've done adaptive yoga, um, I, I do a lot of their adaptive hunting, um, so I guess I started the hunting with them, like, the summer after my graduated from high school, so about three or four years now. Oh, nice. That is awesome. I just saw Prairie Grit. They updated their sign next to the uh, YMCA, so driving down uh, south end of town on 16th. I, I think that's a nice little project they got going on up there. You know, what life lessons have you taken away from an entity like Prairie Grit, and what what skills can people learn? You know, either from volunteering or getting work hours with nonprofits. Um, I think, I think. Okay, Prairie Grit is just, it's amazing. Like, they're just, honestly, before I knew them, they were just a bunch of random people that I met one time, and then we had, like, one little thing in common. And now we're all, like, the best friends, and we'll hang out, and it's crazy. Um, But one thing I think someone could learn from helping out with Prairie Grit is just, like, almost, like, they appreciate people mm-hmm. with disabilities more. Um, I'm not saying that they don't appreciate them now, but they can appreciate, like, the effort that it, things can take mm-hmm. and, I don't know, just, like, the drive and motivation that we have. No, I I totally get that. Yeah, they they're just there's something different about it that just really makes it satisfying and you know big shout out to Prairie Grit of course doing a lot of great work in the community. I actually I was just at uh one of the Hot Tots games and one of their jersey auctions. I think it was Lego Night and on one of the sleeves there was the Prairie Grit logo and I learned that part of the proceeds if I think it is either part or all of it, I, I have to read the fine print again, but uh, proceeds definitely did go to Prairie Grit. So that just knowing that was happening, you know, that that is there. There is a little bit of sense of, um, you know, helpfulness, uniqueness with that. So that that is really cool. And, you know, for you, what about those that have to compete with ailments, you know, seeing, you know, like your friends grow and succeed in that capacity, you know, what's that like? What's the satisfaction level? Um, I don't know. It's just, it's very exciting, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to answer that. Um, you know, just, just kind of seeing them, like maybe if I can reword it this way, like seeing them from day one and if they've made like any sort of you know progress or accomplishments like in uh, either six month or 12 month or 18 month span, what, what's 
have you seen anything like that have has it been or how cool has it been to you know work alongside of people like that um i don't know i think it's just someone's heartwarming i guess to Mm -hmm. see because like when when the people make like accomplishments and stuff like they they appear happier and brighter Mm -hmm. so it's just it's happy and it's heartwarming and yeah no very cool scene all that is good stuff there Haley. um i'm kind of running out of topics here you know is there anything (laughs) else you'd like to mention on the podcast here um you know, we, we were talking a lot of uh, sports management. Let, let me ask you, like, I guess, you know, you're, you're still early on, a couple weeks into this, but, you know, do you have any, like, expectations for yourself or, like, any expectations, like, any classes that you have most interest in or classes that uh, you look forward to taking? Um, I guess they're the sports law class. I'm excited for that one. That one's cool. Yep. Yeah. Kind of makes me sound like a nerd. But. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, no judgment here. I, I've taken that before, too. I, I can vouch for you. So, uh, uh, sports law, yep. And then, I guess, any of the marketing ones, those, obviously. Because I have an mm-hmm. undergrad degree in marketing. So, that's... Let's, talk, let's actually talk about your undergrad and your bachelor's degree. So in marketing, you know, what what have you taken away from that? Obviously applying it to sports management and being a grad assistant in compliance. Uh, were, some other, were there some other things that you were able to, you know, apply that to daily life? Or were you able to use that for Prairie Grid at all? Um, yes, actually, I did use it for Prairie Grid. Uh, my dad is rebuilding like a blind on a trailer for prairie for hunting. Um, and so I created a poster um, just to hang in the blind, like thanking the donors of the supplies that we use for the blind. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Um, so I've done things like that. Um, I actually created an invitation for my dog's first birthday party. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> um, yep, there you go. Yeah. I guess I've done a lot of, like, um, like marketing stuff with, like, PowerPoints for, mm-hmm. like, FBLA when we've, like, competed for state and stuff like that. But, yeah. So you were part of the FBLA club on campus then, yep. correct? What, what, what did you look – I guess future business leaders of America, what did you take away from that and get, kind of expand on your experience working in that capacity too? Um, so this past year, I was club president like here oh, at Mono State. Nice. And then I was also a vice president for the state. Um, oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Is that high honor, I feel like? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. So I learned a lot of leadership roles and how to kind of call the students that aren't always, oh, yeah, I'll do that. Let me just mm-hmm. get right on that. So um, just kind of learning how to, like, further communicate, like, hey, we need to do this or we could do this. This would be a good opportunity. Um, so a lot of leadership, like, skills um and then like other skills on like how to like kind of run a group and how to get us successful so we can Mm -hmm. like earn more um like awards and stuff like that so yeah no all that sounds pretty sweet and a lot of hard work i'm sure went all into that Haley. So, um, yeah, getting involved in, you know, school clubs, you know, it, aside from, you know, now now starting off in compliance and grad school, like in do, doing more extracurricular work like that, that's really going to make the resume pop even further. And, you know, just kind of tell us your 
overall experience, like a, as a whole, being on Minot State campus, you know, how great has it been for you? You know, obviously panned out to a bachelor's degree and now starting up in a master's. But, you know, just kind of tell us, you know, how great has Minot State been for you? And maybe some words of advice for, you know, future um, marketing people or, or people that want to get into this field of uh, or this line of work. I would say my essay is awesome. Um, I can still remember my first day of undergrad. Um, I actually cried because I was so nervous and scared. Oh, um, but it was just the first day jitters, like not knowing literally anyone that was in my class. Um, but after I got my my feet wet to say, uh, like it was fun. I made so many friends and yeah, it was good. Um, but I don't say being on campus here, it's like a family. Um, I can go in like every building on campus and I'll know at least one person. Um, whether that be a student or a staff member or something like that, but yeah, it's awesome being here. No, I, I know exactly how you feel. Minot State is, you know, close, tight-knit community. And that's what I also try to enforce to people that, hey, you're, you're going to make um, close connections here and you're going to do a lot. And, yeah, so um, anything else, Haley, you'd like to mention to the people? Anything else you want to uh, share out to the podcast that uh, we may have not touched on yet? I don't think so. <laughs> Hey, that's all right. And uh, I, I guess I I do have one more thing here. You know, expectations for yourself for um, graduate school, um, combining the compliance and the schooling together. You know, obviously the master's you have in mind as a goal. Anything else you uh, hope to accomplish in these next couple of years on campus? Um, well, hopefully it'll only be a year. Uh, I'm trying to finish my master's oh, that's right, by yeah. next May mm-hmm. um and then after that I think I'll stay in town for at least a couple of years maybe work for the Toros or something oh there you go I think that would mm-hmm. be fun yeah that you actually reminded me there I completely forgot that uh the sports management that I, I think this is for all programs you can either do the one or two year program or, or you can finish in that amount of time. I completely forgot about that, but thank you for reminding me. So yeah, but hey, ambitious, like that, it was said in uh, the Grand Forks article, ambitious is uh, the way, believe the way they put it for you. So, but yeah, finishing it early, nothing wrong with that. Absolutely there, Haley. But uh, yeah, I think that is all that we have in store Um is there where where can people you know catch up? Well, obviously people can find you at the Minot State Games this summer, and they can find you at Prairie Grit. Any last uh, thoughts before we send it off here, Haley? No. All right, hey, no, nothing wrong with that. Sounds good. And Haley, thank you so much for being on the show today. We appreciate your time. Yes, thank you for having me. Yes, <laughs> folks, you just heard Haley Greener. She's a grad student in sports management and a grad assistant in compliance for Minot State Athletics. A lot of, you know, cool stuff happening behind the scenes. So that is, and it also valuable real-world applications that will take her far in the workforce. And that is all we have for you guys today here on the Minot Sports Podcast. Again, I am your host, Cole Clementich. Always a pleasure to bring you guys some more content Live from the Swain Hall Studios, again, we do apologize for the uh, technical difficulties with the video. We did pick up a backup audio set, so that is great and very vital because had we not that going, that would have been <laughs> quite a disaster. But uh, before we sign it off here, again, just want to make mention KMSU TV Radio as the studio sponsor. We thank them. Be sure to download their app on iOS and start listening to your favorite alternative hits in the Magic City. They also have links to their weekly campus TV shows and podcasts on YouTube. All of that available right at your fingertips. Availability 
I don't think has been made yet for Android. But again, big thanks and shout out to KMSU TV Radio, the studio sponsor for the Mind at Sports podcast. And since this session was relevant, the 2024 fall season for Mind at State Athletics will be here in the blink of an eye. So be sure to pick up your Mind at State Beavers 2024 fall home pocket schedules today. They're located directly in the main administration office inside the second floor of the MSU Dome or reach out to us and we can get you guys hooked up with one of these things. It's got women's soccer, football, volleyball, and a couple of the hockey um, couple of the hockey games on there. Not, not the full schedule, but they'll have more of those probably in the next one. And cross country, believe it or not, has a couple of home meets. So that'll be very exciting to check out. But with all that being said, thank you all for tuning in, listening, watching on YouTube, or just, you know, some background noise, headphones on, whatever. All that is nice and fun. We thank you all again. This has been Haley Greener on the Mind at Sports podcast. We'll be back again soon here, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Have a good rest of your day.